There's a catalog listing the hundreds of thousands of different types of marine life in the world, and just last year it added a little more than 1,400 species. The list, called the World Register of Marine Species, is the brainchild of marine scientist Professor Dr. Mark Costello. Well, I, I started the project in, in Europe when I was, I was based in Ireland, and we wanted to collaborate in Europe. And one of the problems was that we were using different names to the same species in different countries. So the significant thing here isn't that the list has expanded by 1,400 species, but that it's been shortened. The register lists 228,445 different organisms, a number that's about half of what it was before the duplicates were identified and removed. Let's take a common freshwater crayfish, or crawfish, or crawdad species, which has the scientific name Procombarus clarkii, but is known variously as the red swamp crawfish, the red swamp crayfish, the Louisiana crawfish, or or the mud bug. That's normal and doesn't interfere with anything, but problems arise when you have multiple scientific names for the same species because it hinders cooperation. A common catalog of all the aquatic species on the planet is important because bodies of water, the oceans in particular, are one of the biggest sources of previously undiscovered species. We've explored so little of them, there's still a lot to find. A common database streamlines the process of identifying a new species, like this Atawayan river dolphin from Brazil, identified last year. Because scientists have been classifying animals for centuries, Centuries, it's taken the researchers at the World Register eight years to pare down the 419,000 different species names recorded across the world. For Newsy, I'm Sebastián Martínez.